installing the latest version of Avast. Uh, you'll see here what the product version is. Say OK to the user account control to get the installation started. And this time I'll be doing an installation on top of the program that's already installed, which was their latest beta version. I'm doing that in order to preserve my settings within Avast. Anytime you install on top of a previous version, it will automatically save your settings for you. If you do a new install, of course, you'll have to start changing your settings all over again. Again, Dropbox, if you want it, leave this checked. I've already installed it on my system and don't need it again. And as always, custom install. That's fine. Say continue. This is where you can decide what you want installed, what you may not want installed. Grime Fighter doesn't run on my system. I also don't like one button fixes, so therefore that's unchecked for me. All the rest of this is just fine. Last chance. See anything here you don't want? Use your back button. Otherwise, let's continue. Agree to the user license agreement. Avast has been around for 25 years. Pretty good accomplishment for an antivirus program. I've used it for 10 of those years. In order to complete all the changes, a restart of the computer is required. We'll come back after that's done. The system's been rebooted, and as the website tells you, my computer is now protected. And even the free version of AST gives you more than just minimum protection. Not only covers the files that are on your computer, but also protects you when you're online, protects you when you're receiving emails, protects you on your social network activities. One free program that does an awful lot. Probably the reason for my having used this program for the past 10 years. Stay safe, be free, I hope this helps.